there's a couple of reports of uh, this question getting asked uh, in, uh, in job interviews recently and uh, I thought of making a, a quick video about it uh, just in order to explain how you can approach uh, eventually the best possible answer here. Uh, first, I, wanna, I want you to notice something. Um, how are you handling the pandemic is actually a behavioral question. Because simply put, they are looking at your past behavior to predict your future performance on the job. So uh, everything, the, the theory of behavioral questions, you know, even the STAR method uh, can actually make sense. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll dive deeper into this a little bit later. But uh, I believe it's very important to understand it's a, it's a behavioral question and a, uh, and a broad question. Now, why would someone ask you such a question in a job interview, other than, you know, to predict your future performance on the job? This is actually a leadership question. And uh, they are actually um, looking for leadership qualities when asking you uh, such questions. They can also be looking for, you know, for adaptability or creativity. But it's all, you know, in a very special context, like this pandemic is something uh, that for most of us is a once in a lifetime event. So uh, your ability to handle stress, which I find particularly challenging during these times for for most creative people um, is also something you know I I'd probably talk about if I were to answer uh, such a question. Now let's look at some uh, some of examples here. Like uh, depending on the role that you're applying for and depending what's what matters for the role that you're applying for, your answer will be focused on that one thing that matters the most. So for example, if you if your role is of someone who is directly involved in customer support you will want to talk about how you took care of your customers during the, the pandemic. Or uh, if you were working on a, if you are a technical person uh, in charge of some mission critical application that had to stay alive uh, during all this crisis, uh, you would want to talk about the systems that you put in place in order to, uh, in order to make sure that everything was working, was running smoothly. You want to be particularly uh, careful at the level of detail that you want to use. You want to give metrics, you want to be specific. If you remember the STAR method, it's all about being specific and to the point and making sense ultimately. Of course, if it's you know, a more complex uh, concept, you would want to spend a bit more time on it. But usually you would want to be specific when talking about these things. And of course, don't shy away for, um, talking, uh, from talking for, for more difficult scenarios. Uh, even if you were laid off, uh, and uh, in behavioral terms, this would be talking about the failure. Now, when talking about the failure, you should still keep in mind the leadership, the adaptability, the creativity, and the context of stress. Uh, if you remember my videos about uh, failure stories, I also link a couple of them in, in the video description, um, it's very important that you, you talk you are uh, you are uh, talking about your true failure here and you're talking in a context where you actually learn something so half of your story should be about uh, your situation and your environment and the other half or even more than half should be about your learnings and how you grew from this experience and how you um, how you get over uh, these uh, these unfortunate events um, it's always a good idea to talk about your strengths, even in the context of failure. So as soon as you, you talk about, you know, you give the situation a task and the action, the actual failure, you know, you, uh, you were made redundant or I'm, I'm just saying uh, that to immediately, you know, uh, shift to your strength. Always talk about your strength in this context of uh, even a failure story, but even, you know, even for the first and the second for, you know, when you have to focus on, on um, that one thing that is the most important for your role. So, uh, all in all, this is, uh, this is a question that you can capitalize on during a job interview, particularly because it's a more general type of question. It's not a specific behavioral question, but a more general type of question that, had, that can be answered as a behavioral one. So, I want you to take a moment to, to think about what's the best possible answer, because this is genuinely a scenario that might occur for your job interview.